Are you ready to nail party? I will be using extra adhesion nail liquid, competitive edge custom original double thick extra long nail forms, my deep well ceramic dap and dish, my original natural nail powder, my blue bombshell from my suddenly 70s collection, my I'm not tacky, a super high gloss no tack top coat, my reinforce, my medium flat Kalinsky red sable brush, my dotting tool, and my towelettes. Sanitize, sanitize, sanitize. And I will be using my crystal spray decanter available in peach, gardenia, vanilla sandalwood, and fragrance free. Sanitize your hands and your client's hands. The nail has already been prepared and I'm going to apply my first coat of primer. I dab it off so I don't oversaturate the nail. This little bottle will prime a thousand nails. So I'm going to use a little bit and then wipe off my brush before I place it back into my bottle so I don't contaminate my primer. Now I'm going to apply my nail form. I'm going to split my form. With my thumbs facing my client, I'm going to roll my form to get a nice curve. I'm going to place this curve underneath the free edge of the nail. Stick down my form, and then this is going to be a square. So I'm going to press together my wings, but I'm not going to curve it in. I'm going to squeeze a little bit more down here at the nail bed, and kind of flatten it towards the tip of the form. So that way my nail comes straight out and it doesn't taper in. Now I'm going to apply my second coat of primer. So my primer is wet when I apply my acrylic. This promotes adhesion and helps eliminate lifting. This is going to be a long square. So I will be using two free edge balls. My first ball is a large ball. Dip my brush all the way into my liquid. Wipe away from me, leaving a lot of liquid in my brush. Drag towards me my powder, picking up a large ball. Place this ball halfway down the form. Let it flow, one, two, three. Bring it up, pat it out, bring it up, pat it out. Start getting that shape how I like it. Get a nice square. I'm gonna stroke it out to thin out that tip. Clean up the tip. There we go. Get that nice square. Wipe off your brush. Dip your brush in. Wipe it away from you. Drag towards you again. Large ball. Place this ball slightly overlapping the natural nail. One, two, three. Bring up the side, bring up the side, bring it straight out from the nail groove. And I'm going to stroke it into the first free edge ball to blend these together. There we go, get it just how you like it. Wipe off your brush. If your primer starts to dry, just add a little bit more. This is going to be a small to medium ball. Dip your brush in. Wipe off more liquid. Pick up a little bit of powder. Place this ball halfway down the nail bed. Let it flow. One, two, three. Stroke it out. Side, side, center. Wipe off your brush. This is going to be a small ball. Dip your brush in. Wipe off more liquid, pick up the small ball, place this ball one thirty-second of an inch away from the cuticle, release the liquid, and then stroke it out, side, side, center. I always like to tap down my powder so it's easier to get a nice ball. Now I'm going to look at my nail and decide what size stress ball that I need and where I'm going to place it. This is going to be a small to medium stress ball. Dip your brush in, wipe away. I'm gonna use it wet, so you had a little bit more liquid, but now I'm going to pick up less powder. So that's a nice wet ball. Place this ball 
almost at the cuticle, release liquid. Let it flow, one, two, three, and then stroke it out, side, side, center. Wipe off your brush. As the nail starts to dry and it's no longer shiny, I'm going to squeeze the C-curve, starting at the nail bed, applying pressure, working my way out with just a little bit of pressure here at the tip. I don't want to taper it in. So it's more pressure down towards the nail bed and in the center part and let it go straight out. The C-curve makes the nail nice and strong and gives it that nice slender look to it. Now I'm going to remove my nail form. My nail is dry. When you hear a clicking noise, you know it's dry. I'm going to squeeze together the tip of the form. This releases it from the nail, makes it easier. Release it from the sides, makes it easy to take off. And just remove your form. I will be using my disposable 180 grit long lasting zebra file and this has a special zinc oxide coating on it that makes it really easy to file as it glides over the nail. And I will be using my disposable clean finish buffing file and this is made out of material. It's not made out of paper. So it doesn't leave any grit on the nail. And this can be used dry or it can be used with oil. And they're very easy to put onto the board. Just peel off the back, hold your board, place the strip onto your board and press it down. Peel it off, hold your board, and just stick it on, and you're ready. I'm going to score the edge of my zebra file before I start filing using my buffer. This way when I file around the cuticle area, it's nice and smooth and it doesn't cut the cuticle. Now I'm going to file my nail in five steps. My first step in filing is straight out from the nail groove on the left, holding the finger securely. File straight out. My second step in filing is straight out from the nail groove on the right. Again, holding the finger and the nail securely. File straight out. Step number three, shape the tip of the free edge. And this is going to be a square. So I hold my nail securely so it doesn't wobble. Hold my file straight up and down. And go straight across. Until I get my square. My fourth step in filing is the top of the nail in the cuticle area. Holding the finger securely, go down on the side. Nice long strokes, down on the other side. Using a horseshoe pattern. And nice long strokes, down on the side, cross the top, down on the other side. Down on the side, cross the top, and down on the other side. There's a little road around the cuticle where you have product, natural nail cuticle. I'm going to place my file in that little road and file the product flush with the natural nail. And I angle my file a little bit. I don't hold it flat or it'll go right up over the skin. So I'm going to angle it so this edge goes right into that little road. Then you can get it really smooth. Step number five, turn the nail around from the client's angle and bevel down towards the tip. You want to make sure you look at the nail from the angle the client's going to be looking at for the next two weeks so it looks beautiful from their angle. Just bevel down towards that tip until you get it just how you like it. Now I'm going to buff my nail using my clean finish buffer, holding the finger securely. Nice long strokes down on the side, cross the top, down on the other side. Down on the side, cross the top, down on the other side, and go around the cuticle area. Get it really, really, really smooth. You never want to be able to feel any little bump at the cuticle. You want the product to be flush with that natural nail. Holding the finger again, 
go out towards the tip. And take off the little sharp edges. Have the client go wash their hands with peach antibacterial soft suds and a plastic manicure brush. Now I'm going to apply flawless base. This prevents gel polish from peeling around the edges. Wipe away from you. And then just a little bit towards you. So you don't get too much on your brush. Place this a 32nd of an inch away from the cuticle. Push towards the cuticle. And then nice long strokes. Cover the entire nail. When you cap the tip, make sure you don't get any little bulby look there. And if you do, just go back and restroke it. There you go. Cure 45 seconds in an LED or two minutes in a UV. Now I'm going to apply blue bombshell for my Suddenly 70s collection, a neon sky blue. Wipe away from you, just slightly towards you. Place one thirty-second of an inch away from the cuticle. Push towards the cuticle without touching. And then nice long strokes. Cover the entire nail. Oh, love this color. Cap the tip. And if you get a little bit on the skin, don't worry. Just use a little brush with a little clean it and wipe it off. Cure one minute in an LED or two minutes in a UV. Now I'm going to apply my second coat. Wipe away from you. Slightly towards you. Place one thirty-second of an inch away from the cuticle. Push towards the cuticle without touching. And then nice long strokes. Cover the entire nail. Such a beautiful color. Goes on so nice. Love it. And cap the tip. Cure one minute in an LED or two minutes in a UV. Now I'm going to apply my I'm Not Tacky, my super high gloss tack free top gel that I always use when I'm doing nail designs. Wipe away from you. Drag towards you just a little bit to get the excess. Place one thirty-second of an inch away from the cuticle, pushing towards the cuticle without touching. And then nice long strokes, cover the entire nail. Cap the tip. Cure one minute in an LED or two minutes in a UV. Now I will create my water drops using my reinforce and my dotting tool. Just get a little bit of the reinforce on the tip of your tool. Put a little dot and let it settle a little bit. Another little dot. Just a little baby one. Do a flash cure, five seconds keep my little water drops in place. Again, get the reinforce on my daughter. Put a little water drop. This I'm going to make a little bit bigger one. There we go. And one over here. And a little one right here. Again, a little five second flash cure. Again, getting my reinforce on my daughter tool. Place a water drop, and you can place your water drops anywhere you like. A little one right there. Maybe a little one right there. There we go. A little flash cure. So easy and so fun, and it looks so cool. I love this effect. And let's see. Maybe one big one right here. There we go. And then a little baby one. And maybe a little baby one here. Let's see if I 
don't need to add anywhere. Maybe one right there. Now I'm going to do a full cure, one minute in an LED or two minutes in a UV. Now I'm going to clean off the surface of my drops with my Clean It. Now I'm going to apply conditioning cuticle oil available in peach, gardenia, and vanilla sandalwood. This is so good for the cuticles, for the natural nail. Helps the natural nail grow out stronger, helps eliminate hangnails, and it feels good. And it smells really good. Now we have 3D water drops on blue bombshell gel polish. And it's so easy to clean up. Just peel off your file strip. Disinfect your plastic boards. Fold up your disposable towel and throw everything away. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. And remember, at Tammy Taylor Nails, nails are always fun and never feel like work.